Welcome to Majestic Green Stadium. Double A baseball on the show coming your way. It's the Frisco Rough Riders taking on the San Antonio Missions. First pitch coming your way next. About to get started here. Our starter in this one, Aaron Leisher. What should we keep an eye on here? Well, he got into the eighth inning his last time out, really pitching deep into games as of late. We'll see today how many innings he's got in him. Smash to the left side. Third out, and that ends the frame. End of one, and we're still scoreless. All set for the start of the inning. And now the DH, number 51. Leisure back to work. Swing at a ball lifted to center field. And that will fall. And the leadoff man aboard. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to, and you're never... Number 14, getting ready to hit. His first at bat was a strikeout. Two outs. And that one is lifted in the air. He's under it. He's got it. And that'll end the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Bottom of the inning, and now the center fielder, Emmanuel Jaquez. The pitch. And first offering is fouled off. Swings and misses and one down below the zone. It's just been an impressive outing so far. Continues to pound the zone pitch after pitch. And he's been able to stay down. That's ball, what's been that key. Down. Just misses. And that's ball one. Base knock center field. So a man on base to start the inning. Still able to come through behind in the count right there. That's about as textbook as it gets. Got his stride and load out of the way early. He stayed inside that ball and squared it up out front. Man, that was like he was in the cage hitting off a tee. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. And there's ball four. He's making things difficult for himself right now out there on the mound, but, you know, his confidence should still be high enough to get out of this, but he's going to have to buckle down right here. Kicks and fires. Swing and a ball popped up, and that'll fall for a base hit. Fabian fires it to the plate. He beats it safe. It's 2-0. Well, he wasn't afraid to hit with two strikes. I think he choked up a little bit, maybe spread out, but he got the job done right there. And welcome back. Now, here is Davis Wenzel. Well, after scoring runs, this is where you're looking for that shutdown inning. Get that hot team back in there to swing the bats. Leisure back to work. Hammer, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Only two hits allowed so far tonight, Boog, so I don't think that one will disrupt his momentum. Emmanuel Jaquez now at the plate. One for two. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And first offering is fouled off. The wind and the pitch. 
And strike two. Not a swing you want to watch again. Foul ball still 0 and 2. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. Next One offering ball, way off the strength. plate. And there's two a ball. Two strikes. And the right hander deals. Come back to the mound. Over to first. And that is that. Three up, three down for him there. Five innings complete. The missions out front here, three to nothing. So one out, nobody on. And next will be the cleanup hitter, Evan Carter. And that one in the air center field. A little bloop single. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. These days, most outfielders play pretty. Runner at first with two away. Now it's the right fielder, Sandro Fabian. He's 0 for 1. And there's a rocket into the outfield. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Right there, he does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. Ready to begin the eighth. Now it's the DH, number 51. Now the 0-1. Lifted in the air, right center field. Makes a nice grab at a full sprint. And there's one away. The right fielder, number 20. Runner on at first with one gone. Here's the center fielder, Emmanuel Jaquez. One for three. Bounce to third. Knocks it down to the hole. But plenty of time to recover. And that's the second out. The designated hitter. Matthew. Definitely one of the easiest saves you'll ever see. He only needed two pitches to get this one. Can be efficient, can attack the hitter. That's what the manager wants to see. That's what his teammates want to see. Nice W. And your final 3-1 for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Shambi. Talk to you soon. Baseball fans and welcome some double-a baseball coming at you. It's the Frisco Rough Riders taking on the San Antonio missions First pitch coming your way next So almost ready to get underway and towing the slab in this one Brent Honeywell Jr. Boog, eight solid innings his last time out. Picked up the win. See what he's got today. If he plays catch with his catcher the way he did, doesn't shake off. I think we'll see more of the same. Emmanuel Jaquez at the plate with two away. Swings through that one. Out towards right center field. Zavala makes the catch inning over. An inning in the books tonight, and we're scoreless. Back here at the ballpark, and now the DH, Dustin Harris. Dustin Harris. Honeywell back to work. 
Here's a high fly ball out to center. Jaquez makes the catch. One down. That is good. The left fielder. Alejandro. One down. Number 17 digs in now. The pitch. Line drive. And that'll get down for a base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Good job of just putting the ball in play with two strikes. You'll often hear the phrase, short to it. Ryan Gold will hit next. Righty delivers. Hit pretty well in the air out to center. And that's the inning. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Go ahead, run on base. Here's a speed threat. Number 17. Really nice swing in his last at bat. Shot a line drive into center field. Line drive, base hit. He boots it around second on his way to third. Headed for the plate. The throw to second. Run scores easily, and it's 1-0. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night. And just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. So two down, Emmanuel Jaquez, the next to hit. That misses the zone, ball one. Good eye right there. He hasn't wanted to challenge him. Both of those pitches off the plate away. Don't expect anything down the heart of the plate. You may just have to be patient and take your walk here. Two down, nobody on. This one in the air right field. Puts the squeeze on it, and that is that. So 12 up, 12 down. One out, runner at second. Now the number two hitter, Aaron Zavala. In the air, out to center, and it falls into third now. So runners at the corners and one out. Davis Wenzel now at the plate. The 0-2. Out to center. And puts the squeeze on that. That is the inning. One error in the inning, but it doesn't hurt him. On to the bottom of inning number six. So two away with nobody on. Emmanuel Jaquez digs in now. Swing and a foul straight back. Jaquez goes five feet, 11 inches, only 18 years old. And he was a third-round pick in 2023. That one ripped left field back there. And it bangs off the top of the wall. Safely into second. He's got a double. And that knock bumps his hitting streak into double digits, Chris. He's hitting 10 straight. Yeah, and on a nice trajectory, average going up, OBP, everything he's doing at the plate right now just seems to be working. Here's the left fielder, Albert Fabian. He's 0 for 1. Rudder takes off on the ground to the left. Tosses across the first. Out with room to spare, and that's the inning. They get two and draw even. So digging in, Aaron Zavala. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Zavala. 
center field. That one gets down for a hit. One runs in. Now the second run is in. And it's now 5-4. Just a huge at bat right there. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. So up next, Emmanuel Paquez, one for three. Laser could be extra bases. Makes the turn at second, heads for third. Luis headed for the plate. He'll score and they've tied it. Five, five now. Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet. Knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. Runner in scoring position. No outs. Albert Fabian will hit next. Right-handed reliever. Here's the pitch. Runner breaks for third. Swing and a ball popped up. Pulls it in on the run. And there's one away. The throw to second is offline. And now Matthew Batten. The second baseman. Matthew Batten. Move to second. Paquez dives back in safely. He's trying for third. Bounce to the right side. The throw to first. He's out. Play at the plate. Safe. And they take the lead. New inning getting started. Now here is Dustin Harris. The tying run at the plate. That's out to center field. Dives, but it's off his glove. Base hit. Just a clutch at bat right there. Big time swing when this team really needed it. Just a very nice approach and swing right there to use the big part of the field. Everything was on time. Stayed balanced. And now, Ryan Gold. He swings and hits a fly ball, center field. And that is the ball game. Well, these guys were able to take the lead in the bottom of the eighth and just cruise to this win, getting those final three outs in the top of the ninth. Excellent job of... Thanks for joining us. Minor League Baseball from the double-A level coming up. It's the Frisco Rough Riders taking on the San Antonio Missions. Sky, and we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. Coming up on the first pitch and towing the slab in this one, number 60. Well, the key for him usually centers around his ability to command all four of his pitches. I mean, he can get by with three if one isn't working, but it becomes a little tougher to keep hitters guessing, especially when you start to get through the second and third time through the order. So we'll see how he incorporates all of his stuff into this one. Pulls it down, and he makes the catch. And a quick out, number one. Base is empty, one away. Next to hit, Aaron Zavala. This one in the air, center field. He dives, but can't hang on. That's a base hit. Boog, I don't think that pitch would have been called a strike, but he did such a nice job of pulling his hands tight to the body and just getting enough of the barrel on it to be hard enough back up the middle for a knock. Two outs, base is empty. And now the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez. 
What a season it's been for him. He has supplied a lot of power and that average. That hits the dirt. 1-0. and On the ground. And it finds its way through for a hit. And that keeps the inning going. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. Albert Fabian getting ready to hit. The pitch. The other way. And that ends the inning. First frame of the night behind us, and it's nothing. Welcome back. Here's the third baseman, Jax Biggers. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. And makes the grab, and there's one down. Here's the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez. And he's already singled in this game. He's got pop, which is a little sneaky because he's so comfortable with taking his base hits to the opposite field. But he can jump you if you make a mistake. Paquez patrolling center field, hitting third in the lineup. He's been on a terrific run at the plate, hitting over 350 in his last 10. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. One and ball. it's one and two. two Out there to center. Number 14 on his way over. Makes the grab on the run. That's out number two. And now the center fielder, Emmanuel Paquez. One for two. And he swings and misses, and it's nothing in one. The two-hole hitter showing so much versatility, understanding the situation, gets on base with two out to bring possibly the best hitters in this lineup up to the plate in this inning. Zavala puts it away, and that'll do it. So no runs here on a base hit, no error. Man at first, next to hit, Ryan Gold. Swing and a ball popped up, and it drops in. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Well, that's one of those knocks where you almost expect to get some jabs from your teammates when you get back to the dugout. When you flare a ball out behind second base, it's really a tough spot for anyone to get to, and you're never trying to do that as a hitter, but when you do, I tell you what, you're yelling at it the entire way to get down. Right-hander kicks, deals. Into center. Base hit and a run into score. And it gets by him. Goal around third. The throw in. Not in time. He's safe as they score a pair on the play. These days, most outfielders play pretty deep, and I'm not sure if that was a factor there or not, but off the bat, you're thinking it's going to be a pop-out, and it just kind of nestled into that spot where no one was able to get to it. And now the right fielder, Aaron Zavala. Outfield playing pretty shallow. Left-hand hitter waits. Base hit, center field. Just kind of slice that one into center. Right there, does a great job of staying in the big part of the field. Man, there are a lot of hits there. And now the first baseman, Liam Hicks. That's hard hit on the line. Haquez makes the play, and the inning is over.
Base is empty with two away. And the batter now, Emmanuel Paquez. Swing and a ball hammered. Left field. That one back. Gone! A shot to left. His 16th homer of the year. It's 8-1. got on playing with that high fastball, then look how his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Absolutely crushed that pitch. We go to the ninth. Now at the plate, Ryan Gold. This to center field. Haquez makes the catch, and there's one gone. Now batting, left field, Josh. And now here is Emmanuel Haquez. He's already homered here in this one. Part of the order coming through now, and with one home run already in this inning, they're definitely looking to do some more damage. And he deals. And a foul ball. Hitter's got some good opposite field power. What I like about something being hit to the right side into the outfield is that the base runner at second has a very good read and can determine whether or not he can score on that base hit. Next offering is downstairs. Albert Fabian in the on-deck circle. So now with one swing, this guy can end it. In the air, center field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and there's one down. Well, such a confidence boost for a reliever to come into the ball game and get the first hitter he faces. A win on the last day of the month. You close it out with the W, but you want to carry that momentum into the next game. Final score of eight to six in this one for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Chomby. Thanks for joining us.